Good evening. You're listening to Radio Valencia FM Drinks with Tony. Today on the show, we have Zarina Zabriski. She is the author of Iron, and she is here as an ambassador to Russian punk rock. That- Radio Valencia FM. Drinks with Tony. The, uh, in the studio, we have Zarina Zabriski. She is the author of Iron and has another book coming out called... Two books. Actually. Two books. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. But today, Zarina is our guest DJ. So she is spinning Russian and Eastern German uh, Rock for us. Tell, tell, yeah, tell, really tell us about that I'm really excited about that. I'm really not a DJ, but I have music that I absolutely love. And if you heard me read, I was almost always read to music because that's what makes me rock. So I thought I'd bring some favorites of mine. And uh, you just heard a song uh, by Kino. 
at the Russian group, the soloist Viktor Tsoi has been dead, unfortunately, for the last 20 years. As the old best people do, he just died when he was about 29, I think, or 27. Oh, wow. What did and he die of? A crashed in a in a car crash oh, there's man, a lot of rumors man. people don't know but yeah. most likely he just fell asleep uh, at the wheel and mm. kind of crashed his car off the road so it's very romantic heroic image that it was supplemented by romantic and heroic death at dawn somewhere in the dark uh, this song was called Mama We All Are Insane and We All Are Very Sick which kind of reflected the time when I was growing up because we all felt that way and I still feel this way. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, the it doesn't li- leave easily. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. if it's you know, if it burns there, it burns and keeps burning. Yeah. So he died, but you know, we stayed. And uh, the lyrics are pretty amazing. Although the the tune is kind of dancey, as they as they found out later on. But that's not how he performed. He wouldn't move. He would just hang on the mic for dear life, dressed all in black, looking kind of new wave-ish, like cure a little bit. He was Russian-Korean, very sexy. Russian-Korean? Very, very, what very an hot. amazing he's, mix. Uh, yeah, he's half Korean, half Russian, I think. Yeah. So he, was, he had this Asian features and is really, really sexy, really hot. Yeah. And he wouldn't move. He would just hang on the mic and uh, within his booming voice deliver this lyrics that really killed. So in this song, it was um, cut my chest, look into my soul, and you will see everything inside is on fire. And in one day, it will be too late. In a moment, we won't be able to get up. If the key doesn't open the lock, push the door open with your shoulder. So it's very heroic in a way, like call for action. And his songs became uh, almost revolutionary at the end of changes. Yeah. The Soviet Union was fallen. Wow. So I thought we'd start with that. And from there, I brought a song by a completely different group. The guy is still alive and kind of getting older and went into the Russian Orthodox religion. Legion now these days and oh was that after the oh, after way communism? after these okay. days he's very religious at the time he wasn't so the song that I brought is one of his absurd song where he's playing it's very intellectual um, playing with the Russian literature and folklore and Greek classics and a lot of French uh, absurdists and whatnot uh, so this is a really funny song uh, very fast and just a month uh, ago I went to a place a rickshaw shop and there was a Russian band playing they're playing this song and I saw like probably 1,000, 2,000 of Russians and some Americans dancing like crazy to this song. So that's what we can play now. Very cool. What track is that? Uh, It's number two. All right. You're listening to Radio Valencia. Number three. Number three. three. All right. Take two. You're listening to Radio Valencia FM Drinks with Tony. Zarina Zabriskie is our co-DJ and uh, the title of the song and the track. Uh, The song is called... 212-8506, 212-8506, which is a telephone number in St. Petersburg. And who's it by again? Aquarium. Что это? Да 
FM Drinks with Tony. Zarina Zabritsky is our guest DJ, and she is DJing punk uh, rock from Russia and Eastern Europe. So, so Zarina, tell us who that was and our, what our next track so, is. So once again, very briefly, that was a group called Aquarium, and the lead singer is called Bege, uh, which is also abbreviation on Russian icons for God, Bog is God, so he's kind of, you know, put himself in this position way before everybody, anybody knew about him. But right now in Russia, he is in this status a little bit. He is like the god of Russian underground rock uh, going way back. He started in the 70s. So he's, he's in a position of Mick Jagger here, something like wow. that, the equivalent. Now, you were telling me, I, were you telling me off mic about the lyrics to that song that were so... Yeah, yeah. I, I, this one was, uh, is a, an absurdist song, and it's if I knew uh, how electricity works, if I knew uh, the law of physics, if I knew who pulled the cable in the ground, I would step out and dial your number uh, in the telephone booth. But because I don't know how it all works and how the signal travels, I'm unable to do this and probably I will never hear your voice again, honey, which is very tragic. But I, I, I hear so that. It's so romantic <laughs> and amazing at the same time. And then it goes completely bizarre into, uh, into the list of sort of like Zen like list of different substances that exist in the ether and like rolls off into craziness so that yeah good stuff that, 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 yeah and um so the next uh song on the list is by the group called agatha christie track number uh it's track number four and it's called i'm on you like i'm at war radio valencia fm drinks with tony Thank you. 
Valencia FM Drinks with Tony. Our guest DJ is Zarina Zabrisky. And let us know what tra that track was and where we're going next. Uh, this was Agata Christie, a um, group from the Urals, from the city of Sverdlovsk, which was very unusual for that time because most groups were from Moscow, St. Petersburg. But once in a while, groups from other cities or from Ukraine will break in, and usually they were very good. They were less snobbish and had a different sound to it that I think happens. You know, we recently went to Albuquerque uh, for for a literary festival, and man, the bands there were amazing. Especially that one band that blew everybody's roof off, called Good Green. My dream is to bring these guys here. I've never heard anybody in America playing like this. Wow. And they were playing in a little high school in the cellar. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And they jammed. Oh my God, I've never heard anybody jamming like this since I used to go to the underground concerts back in Russia. Wow. Yeah. Do they have any releases out? I think they're working on the album. Okay. I, I'm the biggest fan. It's my favorite yeah. group. In when you get it, then things. you have to come on the... Yeah, yeah I'd love to bring them. I'm the yeah. biggest fan. I just heard them there. I don't know them, but I think they're yeah. very cool. And that's what happens in the smaller places. Yeah. They're just something that creates, you know, some kind of air that's hard to recreate in this big, you know, good for us here in San Francisco, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. So that's that was my tribute to off um, capitals. Moscow and St. Petersburg are two biggest capitals, so that was... I wanted to represent white specter All right. of music. And uh, moving on to my probably favorite group, uh, which was very, very weird, even at the time. It's called Strange Games. And what track uh, is that? And uh, I brought several. Let's do number eight. All right, you're listening to Radio Valencia FM, Drinks with Tony, uh, the band and the track again, I'm sorry? Uh, Strange Games. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's... No, go ahead. I... Yeah. Oh, you just killed the song? <laughs> no, no, yeah. the song's over. Okay. That was well, only a minute. Right. Are we on the radio? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I don't know. Do you like that? We, uh, yeah. Absolutely yeah, no absolutely. introduction. No introduction. Just bam, we're live. Yeah. No, I totally can repeat everything I said. <laughs> radio so. Valencia FM drinks with Tony. We have Zarina Zabritsky as our guest DJ. Go ahead, Zarina. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I was kind of telling Tony privately, this is probably my personal favorite band called Strange Games. Um, they were intellectual. Intellectual and anti-intellectual at the same time. The lyrics mostly are by French poets like Jean Tardier, Raymond Quinault. Uh, they would take random translations or translate themselves and just go into that, putting it on ska music and jamming on stage like insane. And uh, one of the singer, he had some kind of physical defect, so he was all crooked and he added to it. He would even, you know, do the strange power on stage and they, they threw a show. They, they, these guys threw a show. A bunch of them with saxophones and um, yeah, the private connection, my best friend at the time who is deceased now and to whom I dedicated my first book, Iron, she was the lover of one of the of the singers. Oh, wow. The other singer, the one who had this defect, who was the most attractive man on stage, uh -huh. I, I saw then he, he's dead by now, another guy. They, they, most of them died from drugs. But yeah. The house was pretty shitty, too, you know. So What's that? The house was no good at the time, you know. Everybody drank, smoked, and took a lot of drugs. So yeah. it probably wasn't good for their health. A lot of people died. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, we can play another song by them. Sure, yeah. what song? Let, give me the track, lady. Uh, so, I think number nine would be good. All right, and what's the title? The title is uh, either Young Girl, could be translated as Young Girl or a Sweetheart. <laughs>
listening to Radio Valencia FM, Drinks with Tony and our co-guest DJ Zarina Zabritsky. All right, that was the song by Strange Games, and it was called Little Sweetie, and the lyrics are by Raymond Quinault, French poet, and they read like this. If you imagine, if you imagine, little sweetie, little sweetie, if you imagine this will, this will, this will, this last forever, this season, this season, this season of love, you are fooling yourself. Little sweetie, little sweetie, you are fooling yourself. If you think, little one, if you think, ah, ah, that this rosy complexion, that waspy waist, those lovely muscles, the animal nails, nymph thigh, and your light foot. If you little one think that this will last forever, you are fooling yourself, little sweetie. You are fooling yourself. The lovely days disappear, the lovely holidays, suns and planets go round in a circle. But you, my little one, you go straight toward you know not what. Very slowly, draw near, the sudden wrinkle, the weighty fat, the triple chin, the flabby muscles. Come gather, gather the roses, the roses, roses of life. And may their petals be a calm sea of happiness. Come gather, gather. If you don't do it, you're fooling yourself, little sweetie, little sweetie. You're fooling yourself. Okay, I think you get the audition and you are the next lead singer of that band. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> the band is dead. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> part of them anyway. <laughs> you, may, you may have to reunite and you'll be the lead singer. Yeah. That's that, That's my vote. I'm raising my hand. Everyone else say aye. Aye. All yeah, right. We're yeah. all in agreement. Yeah. So. <laughs> So the reason I wanted to get lyrics for this specific song, because the question is, I played quite a bit of songs and I brought some more and they're all by guys. So what's going on? Were there any female singers were in Russia? Were there any female there? singers in Russia? Only, yeah. Well, they were and they were not that impressive. I mostly listened to the previous guys. All right. But what happened these days, I'm not listening to any male guys. I don't know what happened to them. I don't live there, of course. Yeah. But... It kind of switched to very strong, very opinionated, very well-expressed girls and young girls, too, who don't give a damn where they are. They cover their faces. They, you know, they perform with no makeup. They... Because nobody can. Can see you inter- their introduce me to one of these women? They oh. sound like they are amazing. <laughs> well, they're in prison, most of them. So oh, once they okay. out, I will, Tony. Okay. I think they should come to this show. Whatever <laughs> they need, <laughs> and they, to any other. I show. will drop to one knee and marry one yeah. of them if they would like. <laughs> Thank you. I don't even know if they're into marriage that much. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good fit. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll give them a headbutt and then yeah. we'll then we'll live together. <laughs> so without much ado, I was going to. Bring Bring to you, ladies and gentlemen, my heroines. What um, track is it? Uh, Pussy Riot. And I brought few. I want to start with uh, their famous punk prayer, for which they are now two of them currently in Siberian prison. Pussy Riot, uh, punk prayer, number 13. <laughs> Radio Valencia FM drinks with Tony Zarina Zabritsky, our co DJ. Uh, so you just listened to the punk prayer, which was performed for 40 seconds only in the church in the Cathedral of Christ in Moscow. Uh, on the February 21st, 2011. And then uh, eventually three of, uh, I think, five or six girls were put in prison. And there was a long, shameful trial 
which became kind of infamous. You perhaps have heard about it. And a lot of musicians and artists spoke up for them and nothing happened. They were still sent into prison, into uh, Siberian labor camps. And then they released one for the uh, marvelously uh, cunning and uh, smart uh, reason of breaking them up. So one is out, two are in. But uh, for all I know, they're still standing united. And the two who are in prison are mothers of young children, and they're very young. One is 23 the, at the time, 23, 24, and 29. Boo, uh, they, hiss, boo. Yeah. Ugh, yeah. So bad. And the reason... Uh, the, the, they were p- actually protesting a particular reason because there is a lot of rumors that they are rebels without a cause. There was very precise political cause because uh, the Russian president Putin was using the Russian Orthodox Church for being uh, elected illegally for the third term as a president. And the uh, patriarch of the Russian Orthodox Church uh, announced uh, Putin to be the miracle of God one week before the election. And that's what these women were protesting, these artists were protesting with the punk prayer. The words literally translated, the mother of God, free us from Putin. And I will not give you the full um, uh, lyrics of the song, but you can find them. They, they, they ask for freedom and they ask for justice. And they also ask Virgin Mary to become a feminist. They're singing in the place which is called Alta, where women are still not allowed wow. in the Russian Orthodox Church. So they jump in there and they kick the air with the kind of martial arts move. And yeah. right. So, so it was very brave. And now they are paying for it. And they knew what would happen. Um, so that brings me um, into their one of their positions, the political anti-Putin and you know freedom. The other one, they are very strong feminist, uh, which is very new to Russia, very foreign concept. Oh, I uh, bet, yeah, uh, yeah, I... yeah. And uh, so the next song is uh, number fourteen. Let's play a little bit of this. You're listening to Radio Valencia FM. Drinks with Tony Zarina Zabrisky is our DJ. <laughs> Valencia FM drinks with Tony Zarina Zabritsky is our co DJ this hour. So this song was by Pussy Riot and it is called Krapotkin Vodka and it goes occupy the city with a kitchen frying pan, go out with a vacuum, and it ends up with fuck sexist and fuck motherfucking Putinists. Very clear, you know, deliverance punch straight, you know, where, I, and they are in prison for this now. That's yeah, what they're paying for. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but they, they made a statement. They, they made a very strong statement. Music-wise, they really remind me of uh, Eastern European or East German at the time, and I guess German now, uh, punk rock songs. Like if we play number 11, which is very brief, b- which is uh, by Mr. Ed Jumps the Gun and called Sa Plan Pour Ma. Oh, okay. Yes. The, uh, you know the cover of yeah, uh, Plastic Brick uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You see <laughs> where the music is coming from. Okay, very cool. You're listening to Radio Valencia FM, Drinks with Tony. Our guest DJ is Zarina Zabrisky. Mm-hmm. 
Radio Valencia FM, Drinks with Tony. We have Serena Zabriskie as our, our guest DJ. Tell us about that song. Tell us what's coming up. Uh, this Talk one. Talk about you. Yeah, well, forget me. <laughs> this music is too exciting. You know, um, so this w- was um, uh, Mr. Ed Jams the Gun. And I actually don't know much about this band or about this song, but I, I love it. And it strikes me as very similar to the, the, the Pussy Riot's music and to the music I like in general. So I thought we'd just play it anyway. And there's another Eastern German at the time, which is just German now, singer Nina Hagen, who most people probably know. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. Well, she's yeah, a well, punk rock singer, yes, we know. trained as classical opera singer she's with amazing. an amazing voice yeah. and shows. And uh, we one of my favorite. amazing at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just play her. Because well, okay, and what track is that? Um, it's uh, number 10. All right, Zarina, thank you so much for coming on the show and co-DJing. Thank you for having us. Um, well, both of you. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, ZarinaZabriskie.com, if you want to, uh, you have a lot of upcoming readings. Uh, her book, Iron, is amazing. And you. you have another book coming out. I have two books, very briefly. Uh, one from Epic Rights Press, uh, from formidable Wolf Karsten's hands. Uh, it's called A Cute Tombstone, with a uh, cover by Semi, uh, which is quite a killer cover, I have to say. Uh, and the, another book is also with a uh, cover from, uh, by Semi from Numina Press in San Francisco. It's called We Monsters. Oh, cool. And it's my first novel, coming in November. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Okay, you're coming back on the show, you know. Thank you. I always t- I, o- I always have to like beg you with vodka and you know, like, what it's <laughs> come on cognac, please. Cognac, yeah, yeah. Canister of cognac. <laughs> Thanks yeah. so much. Serena yeah. Zabritsky, everybody. Like, give her a give her a hand goodbye. All right. Tony, thank you. Yeah, okay, so what's this song again that, uh, that I totally got off track? I was born in Nick Six 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 Six, Nina Hagen. This is again Radio Yerevan with our news. <laughs> Sorry. If you turn on the machine, this is Radio Yerevan. My name is Hans Ivanovich Hagen, and this is the news. I 
Radio Valencia FM Drinks with Tony. Coming up on the next hour, we have Mark Z and Carol Pot. 